for Colt Brennan also. Brazil throws. That's complete to Burkell. Burkell gets double team. Okay, one thing about Burkell, he does not lack courage. He went right up to the black shirts that time. Keenan Jones made the, the stop, and there you see teams have attempted combined over a hundred passes in this game to the near side. And with it is Jeremiah Williams getting this first carry tonight. Gerard Lewis knocks him out. It stops the flowers. And Delay throws. That is incomplete. I don't think that's interference. Oh, I don't know about that. That seemed to be a perfect collision at the time the ball got there. If it is, it is so minuscule. Well, about key, uh, about the interference, the key, I didn't think there was. The, the key word was Defense, collision. Number was 29. Collision. The penalty is enforced at the spot of the foul and an automatic first down. Watch Keenan Jones here. Uh, a little bit before. See, I'm wrong again. I'm wrong again. It was close. You said it was close. Maurice Shaw was the intent. Noy, the throw, four-man pattern, throws long up the far sideline. That ball is incomplete. It was intended for Lee Smith. Keenan Jones covering on the play for Hawaii. That stops the clock with 33 seconds left. It is fourth down. Idaho has one more shot. Hawaii will win it. Hawaii will remain undefeated. Hawaii will remain undefeated in the way. After Appalachian State beat Michigan earlier today, but uh, this is probably right where the Warriors need to be. It's a 50 point spread right now. That's got to help them in the polls. Brazil back in. Brazil being chased. Throws awkwardly, and that, let's see, is it picked off? It is. Picked off by Keenan Jones. Excellent pressure by Francis Maka. Maka was right in his face when Brazil released that ball. Take nice, another look here. Nice redirection by Francis Maka. As Brazil broke out to the left hand side, Francis stopped, redirected all of his body weight, and as you said, Jim, put some very nice pressure on him and probably caused that interception. First down for Hawaii following the interception on the board for the first time. It comes with 10-22 left in the game. That's blocked. So Bigelow unable to get that elevation that he needed. Keenan Jones will be credited with the block. Tim Grasso in to try uh, the punt. And he tries very well. 43 yard average. It's not among the leaders because he doesn't punt that often. Waiting for it. Taking it in is Robinson. Robinson crosses the 35 yard line. Down he goes. 44 yard punt and an eight yard return. Robinson, by the way, that. Uh, to the system. They were working guys really hard, and Reffitt was kind of rebelling against that. Grasso with the punt, good high hanging coverage kick, and a hit at the five, takes a Hawaii bounce and is recovered, touch dead at the two yard line. And it's Keenan Jones who got downfield to make the special, special teams play. But a good, you know, as much momentum as Hawaii had, they scored at the end of the half to cut it to seven. And then they come back out, they get the ball back, even though bad field possession. Good stop for Washington defensively. And has to leave the game. So it, it brings up fourth down and eight. Tim Grasso in. See if um, Fresno State, State tries to uh, block it. They do not. Ball comes to Smith. Smith is hit. Keenan Jones. I believe it was Keenan Jones with a double number there. Number 29, but I believe it was Keenan Jones who lowered the boom. I believe so too. He's listed as a defensive back. The crowd loves it. They love it. They want to see hit for hit. And I suspect in the last 10 minutes and 24 seconds, you are going to now see a lot of hitting. Because these Warriors are fired up watching Colt be taken off to the locker room. 24-yard touchdown pass from Hawaii to 
Bresner from uh, Brennan to Bess. The Hawaii Fortunes benefit. Here's Dewey Hale, doggedly coming up the field again. Hale looking for the opening, gets the opening, and then his ankle tackle as he crossed the 30. Great job by Keenan Jones right there. One of the two safety positions we saw it last week with Dan Kelly over on the left hand safety position. This time Keenan Jones on the right safety position right where he's supposed to be. Ball carrier pops out makes the tackle. Great Keenan, job. Keenan Jones Sorry. does not do that. That's a touchdown run. That's correct. Which is when Nevada won that game in the fourth overtime 69 67 in the highest scoring Division one a game in history. Brotsman kicks off to Keenan Jones. They like his aggressiveness as a return man. He ran over the kicker. And a flag down to the 34 yard line. Silly flag. You're blocking behind the ball. That's where this. Leg comes in late and you're blocking behind the football. If that ball's away from you and you're a blocker on the return team, you turn and go the next level. Don't worry about the guy behind you. Worry about picking somebody up in the chase and in the hunt. A sellout crowd, a raucous crowd at the Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana. It's a 74th annual All-State Sugar Bowl. The only team in the land unbeaten, the Hawaii Warriors, taking on the 10 and 2 Georgia Bulldogs. Just moments ago, head coach June Jones spoke to his Hawaii team leading up to the biggest game in school history. The most important thing tonight is play like you belong. And you only can play like you belong when you play with confidence. Zone 15. A hit the same time the ball hit Henderson and penalty flags litter the field at the Superdome. Keenan Jones delivered the blast, but he will be penalized for it. So much emotion, so much at stake in this game for Hawaii, wanting to show everyone what they can do. And already we've seen how the emotion has gotten the better of them. And for Keenan Jones, very, very close to helmet to helmet contact on the hit, leading with his head on this play. We have a Pac 10 officiating. Kick clue. catch interference by the kicking team. 15 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. Tom, Hawaii is so excited emotionally they are really over the top at this point they've got to win if i'm georgia with this field position i go misdirection i go play action i try and get something cheap early in this ball game before hawaii's defense settles in and hopefully henderson is all right he took quite a lick from jones number 10 timo Piapele, and there you get a look Whistled for an infraction already in the game is number 29, Keenan Jones, when he put that hit that knocked Mikey Henderson out of his final game of his college career. Holding by number 23 on the return team. Penalty will be enforced 10 yards from the end of the kick. First down. Prince Miller working against Keenan Jones, the gunner, knocks the lid off. Oh, he got a whole lot of cloth on that one. Yeah, you talk about your hands are supposed to stay inside. And not, <laughs> that was pretty easy for the officials. And now, of course, a little filibuster. 